Hello everybody, it's Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews and today we're going to be talking about a gaming chair. But first, I just kind of want to point out a couple of things. When we got this thing delivered, it was really a mess. Uh, if you look, you can see here there's all these holes in the side of the box. Here it looks like the base is coming through. The other thing is, is here, this which, which is probably the piston from the chair was sticking out of the side of the box. Not very, very good. So evidently this box was not packed very, very well. So let's open up the box now and let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. Okay. Okay. So, so inside the box, okay. you can see the thing, it's pretty heavy and um, it's, it's got a lot of stuff in it. And uh, let's see what's in here first. Okay, first of all, this looks like it's probably the back of the chair, which looks which looks pretty nice. I'll take it out of the bag. We can see it looks like um, it looks like simulated leather. Okay, and that's what I think it is. It's like a simulated leather. It looks it looks kind of nice. Um, it's kind of like um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, a graphite or something uh, type of material but it's not it's not real but it's got a nice seems to have a really really nice texture to it then let's see okay then I've got these instructions I've got this I guess it's a head headpiece okay and then there's, here's the base, and this was the end that was sticking outside the package. So, there's the base. Okay, let's see what else we got here. It looks like this is maybe a back pillow or something. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, this is probably a footrest or something, some sort of a footrest. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, this looks like the um, the armrest and all that kind of stuff. Okay. This is the seat. All right. This is this is just the seat. Okay. And then we've got some other and sundry little parts here. And um, God, there's so much stuff. And then this is the other part that was that was uh, hanging out of the case. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay everything out and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're back and I've got all the parts laid out. Basically what it is is the one tool you're going to need is this L Allen wrench and that supposedly will help you put the whole thing together. Now there's a ton of parts here and um, there's a headrest, there's a footrest, there's a, uh, uh, a back plate which will go underneath the seat, the, uh, the base, there's five wheels, there's this pneumatic piece right here. Uh, there's a pillow and there's some armrests and some um, uh, a seat. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start first with the seat and what I've done is I've laid out all the parts here and um, we'll start putting it together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the key to the whole project out of this case. And like I said, it's just an, it's an it's an L Allen key. Now inside this bag are three little washers and, and what they'll do is they'll go on the bottom of this piece right here to keep it from uh, falling out. So let's start putting this thing together and let's see what we come up with. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take these screws off the bottom of here off the bottom of the seat and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on here so that's what we're going to do first. 
Okay. Now, what I couldn't think of before for the material, I was thinking about carbon fiber. That's, that's what I was thinking of, and I couldn't remember the name. But um, something that I want to bring up right now is when you're taking the screws out of here and trying to put them back in, uh, there's no actual ring holes for the screws. So uh, it's just like little rips in the material. So just kind of keep a, a mental note of where the holes are because you might not be able to find them again. So, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these screws in like so. And then we're going to take our L key and we're going to tighten them up. And tighten them up really, really well. Something that I would advise you to do with this, and I don't have it right now, but I'll probably do it later, is get yourself a little Loctite blue and put the Loctite blue on these screws. Then they won't back out on you because, as we all know, sometimes on your chair, uh, it gets loose and um, it's not good. So, so make sure all your screws are centered up the right way and then just kind of tighten everything up. Okay. All right. So we'll tighten these bad boys up. Okay. Now the chair, like I said, seems to be pretty nice. Um, the materials seem to be uh, good quality, although I don't really, really dig the um, the finish on the side it looks like at some point it may end up ripping but we'll just have to wait and see and it may end up being covered by the arm of the chair anyway so it may not make a difference but I just kind of want to make you folks aware of that so let's tighten up this one okay and tighten up this bad boy Okay. Okay. Now while we're still on the base of the chair, there's these two weird looking things and these two things are um, for the footrest. So we're going to unscrew this and we'll put these on. Now, something that's kind of weird that um, I didn't know and it doesn't really say in the instructions is, there's two sides to this thing. There's one that's kind of like hexagonal and then there's one that's sort of round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the hexagonal type all the way to the back. So we'll put our screws in here and we'll just put these in loosely because it gives you a front to back and a side to side so you can adjust them this way or this way and we'll put those in first that way when you're putting your footrest in there you can adjust it the proper way now as always I always forget my tool I always forget where my tool is okay so we're just gonna make these just a little tight not tight tight so we'll put the first one in here Okay, we'll tighten this up just a little bit. Okay, and now we'll do the same thing over here. This one's a little tight, so we're gonna have to use the tool to, to unscrew it. And like I mentioned, I'm going to put the hexagonal piece uh, towards the back. I think that's, in my mind, the way you'd want to do it, so then that way the O-ring doesn't slip back through the hole. And it'll also make it easier for you to put the uh, foot piece in the front. Okay. And put this one in. Okay, so now basically we've got, we've got the base 
uh, put together. But let's fit check this anyway, make sure that this is okay. Let's put this guy in here. Put these in. Okay, and then I imagine by flipping this, this is how it goes underneath. So this looks, this looks all well and good. So let's, uh, let's just tighten up these back screws first because that looks like it's, it's pretty right. And let's tighten this guy up. Okay, and we'll tighten up this one. Okay, let's slide this piece back out and let's tighten these two up. Okay, and like I mentioned to everybody, it might be good to use some Loctite blue on this stuff so it doesn't end up coming apart later. Now, let's slide, slide this piece back in like so. And as I mentioned, inside the plastic bag, wherever I put that, right here, there's three little O-rings. And uh, we'll take two of these O-rings out. And on the back of this footrest is these two little detents that are here. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these little O-rings and you're going to slip them over these detents. Okay, just like this. Okay, so now that'll keep it, see, that'll keep it from falling out. You can see I put them on both of these detents here. So that kind of sums up the, uh, the actual seat part. Now let's work on doing the back, the backrest. Okay, so take my tool, flip this up like this, and you, you'll notice there's this T-shape, okay, and there's actually this, this T-bar, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull these out. A lot of parts in this chair. More parts than I've ever, I think, have ever assembled a chair with. If you have a power tool that has a, a hex Allen drive on it, I'd have advise you to use that. Now as far as this goes, I don't think there's really a right way or a wrong way that this is going to end up going in. Um, it doesn't look that way. So I don't think it matters which side you put down or not. So I'm just going to use this side and we'll screw this into here like so. Put another one in here. like that. And it's a little hard to find the hole here sometimes. Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, and then there should be one more screw. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. And we'll put that one screw in here. Okay, let's tighten everything up. Okay, that one's in. That's tight. Now real time you can get an idea on what it takes to put this chair together. Uh, I'm also running a time lapse on this so if you want to fast forward to the time lapse, you can do that where you see this going together really, really quick. Uh, so it's up to you whether or not you want to sit, me, sit here and watch me put it together real time 
or you want to see me put it together in the time lapse. So, okay, so we got the back T bar on here. We've got uh, the base put together. And now, what we'll do is, um, since we have both of these components, which is the main components together, let's just assemble the base. So, I'm just going to put this on top of this for right now. And you see, you've got the solid base. What we're going to do is we're just going to pop the wheels in and the wheels should go in relatively easy. One, two, come on, three, four, come on, and five. Okay, here's your base. There you go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our center piston, which is right here. We're going to set that right in the base like so. And then there's this little looks like a little accordion, doesn't it? Or like one of those those cup things, you know, where you can drink at it. Anyway, that's going to go right down here on this on this base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right here, which is the actual seat, and we're going to set that on here. Let me see. I got to go underneath so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So that sets on there like that. Okay. And now we're going to insert this piece. I'll show you how we're going to do this into the back. Okay. And this is being a little bit, a little difficult. So I think I need to adjust this piece here a little bit. Okay. So this is being a bit difficult. I think what we're going to do is Oh, stop the camera and uh, we'll be back in a minute. So the backrest doesn't want to go into this piece right here. We've tried it a bunch of ways. Here, look at this photograph. You'll notice in this photo that the uh, the T piece that's supposed to go into the receiver for the backrest doesn't doesn't fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble the chair again and we're going to see if we remove the plastic piece in the receiver if the uh, T-bar the will fit. So I'm taking it apart now. Okay, I tightened everything up really, really good so it wasn't going to come apart. So now I got to untighten everything. Take the chair apart again. It was real easy to assemble it, but then we just got back into putting the backrest on and that was a major headache. So now we have to pull this whole thing apart. And I was able to get through assembling the chair uh, without very good instructions. This is what the instructions look like. As you can see, they're not very good. So, okay, now let's pull this all apart. Okay, so here's the, the back piece. Okay, and there's this piece of plastic and this T-bar will not fit into this piece of plastic. So I think what I'm going to try to do is knock this piece of plastic out and see if, uh, if that will allow me to 
There we go. Piece of plastic's coming out. Okay, I've removed the piece of plastic. Now it looks like this fits, but it's really, really sloppy. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get this plastic piece on here now, which it doesn't really, really want to go. It won't go in there and it won't really fit. There we go. It fits in the opposite way. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back into the shop and we're going to grind it back a little bit and see if we can get it to fit. So we're here in the shop. I got my Dremel tool. I got the part. We're going to ream it out a little bit. As you can see right here, you can see uh, the, uh, the chair part, the T-bar won't go into this back piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Dremel tool and I'm going to make the hole a little bit bigger. So let's start grinding. Okay, so now let's see if this fits. Eh, it doesn't seem to fit very well. So I guess I'm going to have to grind it a little more. It, it, it's really, really tight. So we're going to have to take a lot more off on the actual sides. So we're going to go in here and we're going to grind a little more with the Dremel tool. Okay, let's see if that did the trick. Okay, still a little tight, but now it fits. Okay, so now let's bring it inside, put the chair back together and see if it works. Okay, so you saw what we had to do in the shop. I made the adjustments to the back of the chair. I put the chair back together again. I got the T-bar on here. Let's put it together. Now it should go together. There we go. Isn't that amazing? It needed about, uh, probably took me pretty close to an hour to get this whole thing uh, set up properly. So now this is, uh, this is going in. It's screwing down and everything like it's supposed to. Let's see if it goes back. Let's see. Let me just sit on this chair real quick and see if the back will go back now. Let's see. Okay, yep, this goes back now. Let me lock it. All right, that's good. Now, let's put the arms on and see how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew this, this screw here. Boy, that was really frustrating. It was really, really frustrating. Okay take this off take this off okay let's get our arms here okay that's the other side let's put this arm on as a matter of fact this goes like this and the, um, the arms pivot, but uh, let's see. I think I'm doing something a little wrong. Yes, I need to put this arm on the right side. So then that way you see there's, there's a finished side to this. And then there's a not finished side. If you put it on wrong, that's, that's the way it's gonna look. So you wanna look at it this way. So what we'll do is we'll take this, put this in this little hole like that, start the screw like so and let's take this one put this one in here put this on here okay 
get my wrench. And I'll tell you, when I, when I work on stuff like this and the stuff doesn't go together properly, it tends to get me a little upset. Because when you buy stuff, you expect it to go together the right way. Oops, lost my tool. Man, these are long screws. Okay. Now, just in looking at this, they probably should have furnished you with some sort of caps to go over these holes so that uh, it would make the chair look nicer when you got it all assembled. Okay. So, okay, so we got this one totally on, you can see. I mean, it's, it's a nice finish to the a actual chair. It's just it was such a headache to put the thing together. There's that one. Do this one. Like I said, these are super long screws. Okay, so now we've got the arms on. So now there's a couple other little pieces. There's, there's this right here, which I believe is supposed to be a back pillow. And, uh, and that, my guess is, just kind of hangs from here like this and you can adjust it to where you want it on your back, but I'm not gonna bother with it right now. And then there's another small pillow right here, which is, I guess, for your headrest. And that one goes back here, and it secures, I think, through this hole in the back, just like this. Okay, there you go. And there's how that goes on there. So, so that's basically the chair. Now I'm gonna try sitting in this thing and see how it, how it feels. So what do I think of this chair? I think it's a comfortable chair. I like the design. Uh, this carbon fiber look on the fabric is kinda nice. As far as the lines go on the chair, I think it's a nicely designed chair. 
The problem with this chair is the way it goes together. The first part of the video, as you probably noticed, it was a breeze. The thing just went together, but when it came to putting the back of the chair onto the actual uh, seat, forget it. I had to make so many modifications. Um, I think the average person probably would have sent the chair back, but me, I ended up making the modifications to make the chair work for me. As far as the, uh, the way the chair works, what you do is you lift up on this right here. That releases the chair. It makes it be able to move forward and back. When you want to take out the, the footrest, you take the footrest out like this. You click, kick it down and you can just kind of relax. If you want, then you can just lock this and it's comfortable. The chair is comfortable. It's just, it's really hard to put together. Anyway, until next time, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews saying, please watch us, please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. Bye-bye.